where one should not wear to wear, wear the turban. Yeah, when you do the fart. <laughs> <laughs> when you are going to the bathroom. What kind of question this is? Yeah, no, no, no. Let me say again. It's a good question because I see so many Muslims not understanding also this. Because now, you see, once you don't have tasatur, once you don't have a separation between what is haq and what is batil, what is clean and pure and what is dirty, what is good and what is bad, if you don't know the distinction, if you don't know the separation, you don't have that separation, then you think everything is okay. Which today, everyone is telling you that everything is okay. It's all good, right? It's all good. No. <coughs> it's not. Hak is hak and batil is batil. But if you grow up with this kind of understanding that it's all good, there is no cleanliness, purity, and there's no dirt, dirtiness, it's all good, then you start doing things upside down. The turban, it is the crown of the believer. Angels, they wear the turban. The prophets, 124,000 prophets, they wore turbans. Sahabi Kiram, they wore turbans. Now, the crown, you, there are certain places where you don't use the crown to enter into. Because now, you know if the crown is sacred and it is holy, you're not going to bring the Darajat, the honor, the sharaf of that crown to a low position. You're not going to. Now you know instinctively. If it is sacred, if it is clean, you're not going to bring it to dirty places. Everybody knows that if they fix their dinner nice, they make one plate, very good food, everybody knows that they're not going to go into the toilet now to sit on the chair and to start eating, right? I know there's some crazy people who do that, but majority who is saying is knowing that you're not going to do that. Why? Because you know that it is dirty and you know that it is clean. This is clean. This is holy. You're not going to bring it to dirty places. Because I've seen Muslims now, sometimes they just come into Islam, they want to wear a turban, we say it is very good. But you know, the turban is not like a baseball cap. Huh? Because people are thinking turban is like baseball cap. You can do it. It's just something that covers your head. So they say, I bring baseball cap to the toilet, to the bathroom. I bring, bring turban to the bathroom. No, you cannot. You don't. That's why we wear kufi. We wear kufi underneath. And it's one of the uh, signs of the uh, Ahli Sunnah that we wear kufi under our turbans. So that we can take it off and we can enter into the bathroom. You see, as a Muslim, we don't even enter into the dirtiest places with our head uncovered. Never. We don't even enter into the dirtiest places with our head uncovered. And that is sunnah. Yeah, these days, they're saying to Muslims, you can enter into the presence of your Lord with your head uncovered. MashaAllah. What a logic and intelligence people have. So you don't bring your turban now to the bathroom. Now the turban now becomes a tasatur for you. I've said we're going to enter into what the men's part is, right? So turban now. You wear a turban, now you know you're representing Islam. You're representing the Prophet, they said to Islam. Now are you really going to use that turban and you're going to go into places that you know it is filled with shaitans, it's filled with dunya and the ego? No, you're not going to. The turban now is going to stop you, isn't it? Once you start looking more Muslim now, so many people, they don't want to look more Muslim because they don't want to behave in a Muslim way. It's not because of anything else. They don't want to wear Muslim clothes because they say, I want to disappear into the sea of the unbelievers to do what they're doing. We're not saying to do or to not do, but we're saying, we have to at least be sincere with ourselves. Don't start blaming the law or this or that. So, now, you wear the turban, you're not going to enter into a bar, for instance. Well, you're wearing the turban, you're not just going to enter into anywhere that you want. 
the turban now protects you and it prevents you. So, inshallah Rahman, inshallah Rahman, we are going to understand this and we are going to be able to properly put this into our hearts, inshallah.